Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com. Today I'm going to be doing a video flow review for you. This is a really neat web based video creation software that is only a one time fee. So, a uh, really good option if you don't like monthly subscription based video editors. This is one you can use to do a little bit of editing and creation of your own. So what I'm going to do is take you inside this, show you how it works. I'm going to keep my picture off of this video because I don't want to be covering up the software as I show you it. But you can come here to my website anytime at vidsociety.com and I'll put the link directly to this page under the video where you can learn more about this product, the upsells, some really cool bonuses, uh, the pricing, and even some coupons you can get. On the first day you can actually save $20. So I highly recommend you come there. Uh, grab the coupon on this page before you pick it up and also get those bonuses. Okay, so here we are in video flow. I've already created a couple projects and rendered them. And basically that means they are ready for me to go ahead and download. I can play them. I can go back and edit them again, or I can click these little three dots and it gives me a lot more options to rename, duplicate, add captions. I can publish it to its own player, share to clients, share the template, or even add a wrapper. And this is really cool. You see this all the time in social media videos where you can come in and you can choose a wrapper for like top and bottom. And you can come over here and you can add text to add to the top or bottom. You change the colors, the fonts, add your own images and everything. It's really neat if you do a lot of social media. What we're going to do is go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to come over here and click on new video. And it's going to give me the option to choose from one of these templates. There may be a lot more in here by the time you guys get access to this tool. I'm just going to choose on blank canvas. And we can choose between regular stories or mobile. The maximum length you can see here is 10 minutes long. We're just going to do regular. And this is the video editor dashboard. Remember, it is web based, so it may take a little bit longer to be able to for everything to populate and load on your screen. You can see here it is integrated with Pixabay. It gives you all kinds of video footage, all kinds of images, and even the option to uh, do video recordings that you can add to it and select music with the built in library of audio. Now, with that said, you may not have access to all of these features if you only have the front end product. When you upgrade to the pro version, it gives you, I believe, every other feature available. So I highly recommend you check out my website for the details on the upsells and the pricing so you know what it's going to cost you to get exactly what you need out of this video editor. Okay, so let's jump back and I'm going to go to the video footage. And all you have to do to add video footage is simply click on it, drag it, and drop it. Now right now, every time you add a new slide down here on the bottom, it, pop, it pops up with this welcome message. You can keep it. You can hit delete or delete it. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to go ahead and drag over, let's just say, this footage here. We're going to give it a second to load. Remember, it is online, so it may take a few seconds. And I want to come over here and click on Scale to Fit. And it's going to fill the screen in with this video. Now, I can click on Preview Scene. And it's going to show me what this looks like now. You can see here it's 47 seconds long. So I don't want that near that long. So what I can do is come down here clip duration and change it let's just say to 10 seconds now what we can do is add text on top of this if we want to so I can always come over here to text and let's just say uh, let's just click on this one we can see it added it on top and if by chance it didn't add it on top if it added it below the video we could always come up here and click on layers and we can move around everything so if I want the video to be clear on top I can drag it and what's going to happen is it's going to put it on top then you can't see the text so we're going to drag it back down the bottom and there it is now if we click on the text we have options on the right hand side where we can align it change the font style size color fade in and out all kinds of really neat stuff the other thing we can do is we can just click on this background if we want we can uh, drag the corners make it bigger smaller uh, which makes it really convenient depending on the type of videos you add here we can click on select music and there's a few options here. It's hard to see and read this. Uh, what I do is I click on this download up here, music library, and it gives you options to choose from themes, genres, and moods. You can come down and you can just find one here and click it. And so we can just add any one of these, just click add, we'll close this. You can see it added it down here. Now we can add more scenes down here if we want to. We can add as many of these as we want, clear up till it takes 10 minutes. And you would simply come back up here to the library of either the footage or the images, upload your own footage or your own images. 
and you would just come over here and drag them, scale them, and then you can adjust different options depending on what you're uploading or what you're using. Now, once you have all this done, there's some other things you can do. For example, in the pro version, you can also add audio recording. So you can record directly to your mic and it will add it to the scene that you're on. Now there's also a feature for text to speech where you can use uh, built in languages. You simply just come down here and choose the language. Then you would choose the voice. Overall, I'm not a huge fan of the text to speech conversion uh, because most of them sounds pretty robotic. Plus I'm just, I would much rather do it myself or out outsource it so it sounds more professional. And then if we come down here, we got the text where we can just click on it and it adds it to our scene. And then you can also adjust when this comes up by using this timeline down here. And you can see here how long the slides are when you click on them. And then if you click on your text, you can adjust it to how long it takes before they pop up. So you can add an opacity to it. You can fade them in and out. And over here, we also have shapes. So say you wanna add a square, we can click on square. And then we can take that square and we can move it around. Let's say we wanna put it uh, right here and use it for this text do something like this and then we can change the color of it to be black we'll go to layers and I don't want the shape on top I want it under the text and then we can go back here and change the opacity whoops of the shape to something like that and so there's all different kinds of things you can do with this and then there's also where you can add your emojis animated emojis and even icons and so that's what this tool does you can preview each scene by clicking here you can preview the entire video by clicking here and once you're done you can come up to publish click publish now and choose the resolution of your video from 480 all the way to 4k and render video now when you render your video it's going to save it on your desktop or not on your desktop but on your main dashboard when it's done so if I go back this is where it's going to be saved. So this is the one I was just working on. I didn't finish it, but these two here, I already rendered. And once they're rendered, you have more options. So where you can actually add captions to it, you can add the wrapper to it and do other things. Once again, dependent upon the upsells you get. So this is video flow. Um, it's a neat online based tool, but you got to remember it is online. And so what I'm finding is that because you use it online, there may be delays between doing something. It actually didn't take very long to render the video, which I was impressed with. And so if you guys are looking for an alternative video editor, this may be one you want to consider. Check out my website. The link will be below this video so you can get more details about everything, including the pricing and bonuses. And you can pick up that extra $20 off coupon when you get it on launch day.